Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts, Hare and Forbes Machinery House and Pace Farm. The history of the Holden has a strong legacy here in New Zealand and we are about to find out how strong that legacy is on this week's episode of Classic Restos. It's always fantastic to return to the beautiful New Plymouth area here in the Taranaki of the North Island of New Zealand. And of course each year it's home to the world-class event Americana. But this weekend it's all about the mighty Holden. And you're about to see something happen here for the very first time. Welcome to the 2019 New Zealand Holden Nationals. What an accolade. TSB Stadium here in New Plymouth, New Zealand plays host as a first for this occasion. The Taranaki Holden Club are pleased to announce that they have been selected to host the New Zealand Holden Nationals on its 15th anniversary over the Easter weekend of 2019. Again, this is a first for the Taranaki region. If there was ever a tribute to the Holden here in New Zealand, this is it. This national event features a glorified showcase of some of the best Holden examples in the country. From the 1948 FX215 through to the last iconic Holdens that some of us may drive today. Inside the TSB Stadium, field goals of a different nature will happen this weekend as more than 80 Holden Classics line the inside and over 100 will spill over outside into the car park. These cars will be judged and trophies awarded. It's a painstaking job for the judges with eyes like eagles and the skills of a lion. A job that I do not envy. Well, here we are, and all first for the Taranaki, the 2019 Holden Nationals. Wow. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks, Flesh. It's an honour to be here. You've got your time cut out. Now, you're known as head judge, right? That's correct, yes. I've done, um, been judging the Holden Nationals probably the last eight to ten years now. Okay, now this is probably not a bad place to start the episode because the cars are outstanding in their quality, the way that they've been detailed. Uh, we're talking the pick of the crop inside for the weekend here, inside the TSB Stadium. There's over 100 cars outside in the car park. So, where do we start, Mike? With the judges looking at the cars, what are they looking for? All right, we've got um, three judges, which all have a, um, a category on the car to, um, to judge. We've got the judge for the engine bay and underfloor. We have the exterior judge and we have the interior judge. And uh, they're, they're looking for condition, it's mainly on condition of the car. And if, uh, if a car such as this HQ Monaro behind me here uh, is entered in original, so um, they're looking for uh, originality and you can lose points on uh, you know, things that aren't original in the so, car. So how does it work, Mike? Do you start off with, with say, 100 points and then every fault that you find, you, you take some points off? Yeah, that's correct. It's usually around, um, I think the interior is based up to 25 points with um, exterior around 50. So, yeah, any little fault that's that's um, spotted, that you probably lose a couple of points. And, um, yeah, just goes like that, really. Okay, now behind us this... Uh Incredible four-door Monaro. Boy, what a beautiful car. Now, you have a bit of a personal history with this one, don't you? Yes, um, th this car behind us, the Monaro, um, I, we purchased it, my partner and I, about uh, 12 years ago. Unrestored, but original, original matching numbers. It's a 74 GTS sedan, and um, we've restored it back to original glory. And, um, yeah, we've done quite well with shows with it. Um, but we don't own it anymore, we've moved on. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. You've done, you did a good job back in the time. There's no doubt about that, Mike. Thank now, look, a question now. I'm going to put the acid on you just a little bit. Now, give us an example of a fault with this car, rather than the question of 
how good this car is, what would be something that would come against it? Because it was restored about 10 years ago, I have noticed uh, there is a chip on the door, a paint chip on the door. So straight away there's probably a couple of points there in, in the paint job and, and so on really. If you find more chips or some scratches, the, the points come down. Yeah. And um, So it pays to keep them as best you can to get the top points, obviously. Good on you, Mike. Well, it's going to be a big weekend here. Over 80 cars on the inside here at TSB Stadium. Three judges. Uh, yeah, you're not going to you're not going not going to have time to scratch yourself this weekend, Mike. Well, the, I say three judges. That's um, that's for original, and then we've got the modified Holden. So there's three judges for there too, and uh, then we've got our survivor class and some more judges for that. So it's not just three ju judges hard out for the weekend. I think it's amazing some of the cars that are in here, just the history and the originality of some of these cars. I, I think more and more as time goes on, I think these are the cars as I've often said before. These are the cars that everyone's trying to get. Get a hold of it. The barn finds the the uh, the original cars that have been in a family for the last 50 years. Um, they're still out there. You've just got to be lucky enough for one to come your way. That's right, and, and yeah, you've got to be lucky enough. And then, and you know, it's, it's a lot of um, motoring history. Holdens, the old Holdens, um, we've grown up with them, and, uh, and same in Australia too. And if you're lucky to find one, well, yeah. You kind of have deep pockets <laughs> these days. <laughs> uh, it's like almost any classic car is cool. Mike, thanks again. Thanks, Fletch. That's Thank you very right. much. Thanks Thanks for I'll let you get back to it. Uh, this is uh, day one of the 2019 Nationals here in the Taranaki. And uh, first off, too, for uh, for New Plymouth. So congratulations on that one. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, it is a first up for um, New Plymouth to host the, the Holden Nationals. Yeah. And, uh, done quite well so far, yeah. Good on you, Mike. Well done. Thanks, Fletch. Thank you very much. This four-door HQ Monaro is a brilliant example of a restoration that was done 10 years ago. It was done right the first time, that's why it looks so good today. Little V8 engine up front, the 253 doing a mighty job, and how's that interior? It is spotless. Now this particular car comes from Christchurch, and it's travelled around about 800 kilometres to be here in the Taranaki for this weekend's event. After all, isn't that what it's about? Getting our classics out, enjoying them, driving them on the street. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits, and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. Well, how good is this? The 2019 New Zealand Holden Nationals right here in Taranaki. It's the first time we've ever hosted this event in the 30-year period that it's been going. So it's the 15th anniversary of the show. We've got over 80 vehicles on display here today. So we're um, hoping to uh, please everybody this weekend with the quality and quantity of vehicles on display. Right, the Taranaki Holden Club, which I'm the president of, we've uh, been around since 2002. We're very progressive. We've, we've got good numbers of members. We've got good quantities of cars. We're well represented throughout the country. We're well respected throughout the country in fellow Holden Clubs. Hence why we were uh, selected to hold the 2019 New Zealand Holden Nationals here, right here in, in the spectacular province of Taranaki. So uh, this weekend we're hosting over 80 cars as a national event. We've got uh, a show and shine event in the car park which is going to host at least 100 cars. We hold all our events in the TSB Stadium here in, in New Plymouth because of the, the location of the event venue, the, uh, the, the, the closeness to the city really involves, you know, invites lots of people to come through the event. They've been very good to us in the past, but the, uh, we've, we've really had a good relationship with the TSB Stadium and we will 
have future events here as we go. Taranaki would just about have to be the biggest part of New Zealand with a car culture. I mean, everybody basically has classic motor vehicles in this province. I mean, we can thank Americana for that. John, John Ray actually made everyone go out and buy an American car. And, and, and we are trying to actually do that with the Holden movement because, I mean, the value of the Holdens are going up and, and people are getting, they're more appreciating everything that they've got now. And it's, it's, it's actually quite humbling to meet people with the same mindset of, of restoring and, and preserving the history of, of old cars. I think really when you look at it in a, in a broad sense, but he, across the board, but he, you know, everybody's got a major appreciation now for, for older vehicles or preserving the vehicles that they've actually got. That they, um, you know, whether it be Ford, Chrysler, Chev, Holden, whatever, you know, everybody has got an appreciation for an old car. And, and, and you know, you only have to drive around and the looks and the people pointing that you get. It, 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 again, it's humbling to, to see people, you know to actually appreciate what you have. And actually, we're at the end of the day, you know, we've got to thank Fletch for actually giving us the time to come back to the NACI to uh, film this event. I mean, the Nationals has never been visited by Fletch before, so um, we're really happy to have him here. Really happy. <laughs> time now for a very interesting 67 HR Holden on today's show. How are you doing, Daniel? Very good. Thank you, Fletch. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I've got to admire you, the, the man that, that has his car on the front of his T-shirt. Now, that's, that, that's diehard enthusiast stuff there. Absolutely. Got to love them and uh, got to show them off. This car is just so untouched from the day. What can you tell us about it, Daniel? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've only had it since October last year. Um, I do know some of the previous history. Um, I'm still looking for more, which is a little bit tricky to find, but hopefully we'll get there. But uh, it's basically unrestored, and I've had to do a few mechanical things to keep it nice and fresh on the road and safe, of course. But uh, body-wise, very little, just to keep it original, keep it authentic, and keep the patina, which is what we love. Yeah. But um, yeah, aside from that, just use it and, and, and love it, basically. Now, the history is an important thing on, this, on these cars. You've got something very special here that you, that you have found. Will you share that with us? Yes, well, it's a, uh, it's a photocopied page from what's called a car control ledger, which is an original handwritten sheet from the vehicles when they were new and imported into New Zealand. Um, so this particular page has 42 vehicles listed on it. They're all manual special station wagons. And uh, from the 42 that are on this particular page, there is only a single 161 engine vehicle, uh, and there are two X2 engine vehicles. So my vehicle luckily is one of those two on this particular page. Of course, this car control ledger has hundreds of pages of all various body types and engines, but uh, I'm very lucky that I was able to get access to this page from a good friend of ours who has the original copies in his possession. I'm not entirely sure on the purpose of creating these, perhaps just to keep a record, a history of the cars coming in, yeah. um, and they could always refer back to them for checking the correct engine numbers or the original owner's name, which is also listed on the sheet as well, uh, who sold it, the date of dispatch, engine number, colour, color, body style, yeah. Um, and yeah, just general information like that. When it came your way, how did, how did you feel when you first saw the car? What was your immediate reaction? Yeah, well, it was uh, sent through to me by a friend, actually, through Facebook, of all things. I'm not on Facebook, but um, I got in contact with the owner just to find out some of the history of the vehicle, having another HRX to myself already. Um, I'm interested to find about others that are out there. And uh, through some contact, we went to visit the car, which was in Christchurch of the South Island. And as soon as I saw the car, I figured I'm probably going to be taking this home. Next thing, we're handing over the money and organising a transporter home. So it all happened very quickly, but um, this is the end result, luckily, and I'm, yeah, very happy that I did make that decision. Well, it'll be welcome in my shed. I love it. Daniel, good to catch up with you. And I saw you had a quick chat with you at QMU earlier this year as well. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, one of your early episodes where you featured the EK panel van. Yep, caught up with you there, and, yeah, very good to catch up again. Yeah. It is good. It's good to catch up with these Kiwis. And uh, just speaking of that, the uh, QMU Classic Car and Hot Rod Festival, uh, of course, uh, these episodes, do the search on the Shadows Club. All the episodes are there for you to enjoy. Daniel, wonderful catching up again, mate. Thank you very much, Fletch. Good to see you. Have a good time. That's right. And you look after this old girl, all right? Will do. Thank you very much. Cheers. And on we go. How's this? A 1972 LS Monaro. Cool as punch all day long. How are you doing, Stu? Good, good Fletch. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. Another original example here. Tell yeah. us the deal. 
Well, I had this about oh, three and a half years now. Um, got it from Christchurch, South Island, for all those Australians. Um, yeah, it has lived all its life in Christchurch. It's had north of 10 owners or so. Um, ten, I, 10 owners? I think I'm the 11th, yeah. 11th. You know, that, this would have to be the first time I think I've ever interviewed anybody with such an incredible car that's had that amount of owners. Yeah, I think it's it's largely been looked after. Um, 1989, it went to a, a, an owner in Christchurch, and he had it till 2007, and he did nothing with it really, apart from look after it. Um, not a lot of miles. I, I did phone him, managed to get in touch with him, and um, just to see if it had gone around the clock once or twice. Uh, it had gone around once, so wanted to check that out. He also had the engine reconditioned, I believe. So, just get a few details on that. Okay, so you've, you've made it a good car, you've turned it back into uh, well, an honest example. Yeah, pretty much. I, I'm into the originality, the original aspects of a car and uh, just, uh, yeah, just a bit attention to detail on things like yeah. the underside, engine bay. Um, it looked pretty good yep. um, at, fir at first sight, but um, yeah, under the skin a lot of things weren't, weren't really right. A lot of things to do. Um, not a lot of money, but a lot of time, and f just fixing little things. Wasn't it a beautiful period in the in the early mid seventies with these with these Monaros? Um, just the the side profile, the line of the car, um, beautiful. And inside, I really believe that GMH did a tremendous effort with the interiors. Beautiful seats, just the way the car is appointed. Yeah, sure. The, the seats are actually really comfortable on a trip. Um, we, we came down from, from uh, Hamilton on Thursday, it's about a three hour trip, and just sailed on, and just easy, yeah. And, and um, yeah, back in 72, back in the day, the, the colours they had available on these cars, as, as most people probably know, you know, they, they, they introduced new colours every year of the four year production run, and there's something like 38, 39 colours in total available. Yeah. There's no doubt about it, Stu, the owners of the Grinners today of these uh, tremendous Holdens, mate. Thank you for uh, helping to represent the 2019 Holden Nationals here in the Taranaki, which is a first as well. So it's a very special event yep. to be a part of. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Fletch. Go on. If you enjoy watching classic restos, but you have not discovered the Shannon's Club, ho oh, oh, ho, boy. Have you got some work ahead of you? Because on the Shannon's Club, there are over 300 episodes of Classic Restos awaiting you. So if you want to go and check out the episodes and all the other cool stuff on the Shannon's Club, go and visit shannons.com.au. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerymouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. Time now for the ute of the episode. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing very well, thank you, Fletch. That is good. This is a credit to you, this vehicle. I thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, I know it means the world to you, doesn't it? It certainly does. It's, it's been a vehicle in the making of seven years. I had owned it for probably about three years before I did any work on it. And then it was, it was working on it for approximately seven years on and off. And... I finally finished it at Easter 2011 and I took it to the Holden Nationals in Palmerston North. That's wonderful. Now, when you got this ute, I believe it wasn't so good. That would be an understatement, believe you me. There was holes big enough there that you could put your head through. <laughs> Had to have a whole new floor and just numerous work everywhere. It was just a border case of whether you do it or not. But the bottom line was, 
like my son-in-law said to me, Dave, it doesn't matter what it costs, you cannot go down the road and buy an FJ Ute anymore. They are just that rare in New Zealand. Thing is too, Dave, it's another one saved. You've, you've saved the vehicle's life and your attention to detail here, uh, it's virtually a, a concourse car. Even looking at the electricals, you've gone to the, uh, the, the standard stock wiring of the day, which reminds me of the old jug cord when I was a kid growing up. Every time you misbehave, you'd get that yes, round your yes, backside, yes. right? Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes, very much. And the most incredible part about, are you mentioning that, you can still buy that as a brand new item made in Australia. It's just absolutely amazing. Well, that Even that's getting rare now, that sentence there, the line of made in Australia. It's nice to actually hear that. Yeah. Oh, yes. I think what you've done here is a beautiful thing. We look inside the interior, across the seat there, absolutely beautiful. The dashboard, the instrumentation, down to every, every fine detail. There's not one bolt that hasn't been turned on this car. Um, presentation, Dave, all the way here. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Fletch. Yes, it is a labour of love, and it was my passion to make this equal to how it was when it came off the production line in 1954. Now, Dave, yes. there's a very emotional part of you with this car, this event, the Taranaki Holden Club. It, it is very close to your heart, the whole package deal, isn't it? Oh, very much so. I have been to several national events like this and it was my desire, my passion to be able to have this event come to my home province and into this town, New Plymouth. I put forward a proposal six years ago and for me to see it be here happening, it's just, I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy. I just, it brings tears to my eyes. To see, to see this, 81 vehicles, all beautiful. It was my proposal I put forward, but I have had such great help from the Taranaki Holding Club. You cannot do something by yourself. You have to have people helping you. And the people involved bringing this event to New Plymouth have just been absolutely fantastic. Right from our club president, right down to just ordinary club members. We formed the show committee and what an awesome committee. I just have to thank them so very much. I really appreciate you guys. I really do. They're strong words and, and you've heard it from the guy himself. Um, he had a vision, put it forward and here we are today at the Nationals for 2019. And just as a, a bit of a, an offshoot there, uh, I'd like to also compliment uh, Stephen Joy Fabish with the Hillsborough Holden Museum as well. Um, they, they've done some fantastic things in this, this region for Holden too. Oh yes, they very much have. They have brought to our region an awesome museum, a world-class museum in fact. Highly recommended for anybody to go to. It's just absolutely awesome. Really is. Good on you, Dave. We could keep on chatting, mate, but uh, again, it's a credit to you for, the, for your ute. What you've put yourself through, a painstaking restoration, uh, faultless in every way, as, as we alluded to earlier. Good on you, mate. Well done. And thank you for being a main part of this episode of Classic Restos. Thank you very much for that. I really do. Thank you, Fletch. You're welcome. Thank you. Time now for a sensational FB Holden from 1960. How are you, Tracy? Very good, Fletch. That is good. Are you enjoying yourself? It's been a wonderful weekend. Yeah? Yeah. Where have you driven from? Auckland. Uh, now that we're down here in the Taranaki now, around about five hours drive. Yeah, not too. That's pretty good. Yep. One thing I have noticed: there's not a lot of Kiwis over here that trailer their cars to these events. Most of these cars, pretty well all, have been driven. Yeah, they're they're built to be driven and shared on the road and enjoyed. Isn't that great? Uh, really, these cars, the age that they are, sure they've been restored, but we've, we've still got that technology going on. And I think that that's what uh, really reaches out and grabs us. Now, this car here behind us, absolutely sensational. The FB, just prior to the EK, the last model of uh, the separating stainless steel with the two-tone paint, almost like its own cove up in the door. Beautiful. Yeah, like little baby Chevys. That's what they... Well, that's what they used to call them, the poor man Chevy, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I often wondered, you know, what would have happened back in the day if the uh, 
the Chevy, the 273 V8 was made an option uh, back in those times. But Australia back in 1960 was a, a very minimal V8 market. But these grey engines, they just held supremacy for so long, didn't they? Oh, and they just keep going and they, they're so reliable. They're, they're good little engines. Well, run us through what you've done here. Uh, so we bought the car as a shell and got her um, soda blasted, um, panelled, we painted it, um, rebuilt the engine, put it back together. It took us a couple of years to get all the original parts. Yep. We had a lot of help from Australians. Um, so we're not a bad bunch, are we? You guys have been brilliant. <laughs> we just couldn't get the parts here. Now, the car, when, when I look at the interior, has the interior been redone or are we looking at an original interior? Uh, no, so it's original um, seat material, but we got it restitched and everything because it was just a bare shell. Yeah. Isn't it lovely? It's a step back in time when, when you look inside this car. Oh, it's, yeah, it's another era and all the chrome. Yeah. It's just, you know, we think she's beautiful. All right, Tracy, thank you so much for, uh, for coming along here to this wonderful event here in 2019 to the Nationals, uh, helping to make this event proud with your car. Uh, there's a, a line of them here. They're, they're beautiful. They really are. And, again, it's a credit to yourself and your husband. Well done, Tracy. Thank you, Fletch. Lovely chatting to you. Thank you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed just some of the amazing New Zealand Holden Nationals for 2019. And you've seen it first on Classic Restos. Until next week, no matter where you're watching the show from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. Sorry? Test pattern. Television. Television test pattern. Television. Test pattern. <laughs>